Tune. Don't you like it? Do, 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 do. I love it so much. I really get carried away. Listen to it. How are you guys out there? Welcome once again to Ikri Kids TV with me, your host, Khalil Mohammed. As usual, whew, getting a bit sweaty, but I'm doing my best to make sure we put together the best show possible. And, uh, you know, I'm still a bit worried that Beanie might be around. But hopefully he won't show himself. And remind, remember, guys, we want you to show us pictures of what you think Beanie looks like. <laughs> is he tall? Is he short? Is he fat? Is he skinny? What colour is he? Is he got stripes? I don't know. He might be green. He might be red like nosy alien. Whatever the case is, guys, here's the email address to send any drawings of him you'd like us to do. But before we do that, let's get into today's show. Here we go, guys. Initiating system one. System one loaded. and welcome once again to the random studio right as you know the random studio is that part of our show where we test your ability to adapt and change and to go with the flow and sometimes to draw things that you wouldn't normally draw maybe stuff you don't even like right so that's what we do on the random Art studio, right? So what we've got is our wonderful spinner. Let's have that on the screen now. There it is, okay. Right, as usual, we have some very interesting bits on our spinner. Let's not waste any time and let's hit that button right now. Oh, around and round it goes. Where will it stop? Only Allah knows. A monster! Right, a monster. Now, I know some of you might be afraid, scared, terrified of monsters, and I don't blame you. When I was younger, monsters were not high on my list of things that I want to spend the day with or see at night or down a dark alleyway. But at the same time, monsters can be a lot of fun as well. There are a lot of cartoons and shows with some nice, cuddly, cute monsters, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go away for a second and come back with a nice picture of a monster. Mm. Three, two, one. Right, I have found a lovely picture of a monster and I'm going to put it on the screen now. There it is, beautiful. Now, it doesn't look that scary. It doesn't look as if it's about to eat you as well. Um, but it's supposed to be a monster. That's what I googled and that's what come out. Now, it looks a bit too cute to be a monster, to be honest with you. It looks as if, I don't know, it might cuddle you. It look like a toy or something like that as well. But apparently it's still a monster. Quack, 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 quack. Right, so guys, we're going to get busy, right? So I'm going to do that this time, even though I've still got my black markers. I'm not going to use the black marker for the outline. I'm going to use um, this cyan or, tur or turquoise marker. So you're still going to have the challenge of going directly on the piece of paper or your drawing pad, and any mistakes you make will be easily apparent, okay? It's going to be right in your face, but it's practice to keep trying and getting it right First time, inshallah, that's the idea, right? So I've grabbed a nice kind of, as I said, turquoisey color, and I'm going to start drawing out the basic shape of this quote unquote monster. Here we go, not gonna make it too big. Thank you. 
So I'm gonna use this to join his one, two, three, four fingers. Uh, one, it's quite dark this actually, maybe darker than I thought it would be. Uh-huh, yes, yeah, definitely darker than I thought it would be. Oh goodness. Right, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. Right, let's draw his mouth. Now, should I use the same blue? I think I should. I'm gonna draw his mouth. It's got a little kink there. And then it goes round a little bit like that. And he's got one tooth sticking out like that. One tooth a little bit crooked like that. And another tooth just sticking out like that. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm scared of doing his eyes. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not sure what color to use for the outline of his eyes. I'm gonna use this weird kind of pinkish color. Okay, oh my gosh. Right, so these eyes for some reason, they're kind of, they're overlapping. How his eyes overlap, I have no idea, but let's not worry about that. Ugh. And then the other eye, which is underneath it or behind it. There. And then his pupils. Just do some simple circles for now. Not bad, not bad. You know, one time, sometimes when we, well, not sometimes, every time we do the artwork and I look back at it afterwards and I realize, oh, I'm quite pleased with the way how it came out. But every time I'm at this stage, I'm still very nervous. I'm still thinking, oh my gosh, if this goes wrong, it's gonna be so embarrassing. Everyone's gonna see the mistake I make and it's gonna be on television. Because even if I make a mistake and I have to scrap this, I will show it to you. I'm not gonna hide all the mistakes, okay? But alhamdulillah, it always seems to work out in the end. And that is what you have to keep pushing for when you're doing your bits and pieces. Even as challenging as it is when I'm using just freehand to try and get some smooth lines and some smooth curves, it's hard, but you only get there through practice. Right, after saying that, let's continue with what we're doing here. He's got these bubbles on his head. You can't describe them uh, as hair. Whatever they are, they're on his head, right? And then his pads on his fingers. There are three of them. One, two, three. I mean, I call them pads, but I don't know what they are. Like what a little dog would have or a cat would have on their palms. He's got three on this side and all. So as usual, you see, I'm not trying to be one million percent faithful to the original picture. As long as it looks something like it, that's good enough for me. Right, now that we've done that, what should we do now? Because to be honest with you, I've drawn it bigger than I wanted to make it. <laughs> but not to worry, because it means I'm going to use a lot of markers up to, kind of, to actually fill the spaces. Now we could continue with the blue that we started with. But I want to fill this entire area and it's probably going to be better to do, fill that entire area with a colour pencil. So let's grab a colour pencil that is roughly the same kind of colour. That light blue, that's a good one. We're going to need a few light blues. That's a dark, oh that's even better, this one is even closer. Right, let me just quickly sharpen it. And now normally I do try to get you guys to have good practice and have a bin down there on the floor. But I'm going to be honest with you. There's no bin here as well. Beanie, could you get me a bin? Where is he? All right, if Beanie was here, he would get me a bin, but he's not here at the moment. I don't know where he's gone. So, you see, he's never around when you want him to do something good, isn't it? So I'm gonna use this pencil to fill out the main color on his body. Just a little bit, it's just gonna give it a bit of an edge. You see, just giving a slight blue edge there to kind of lift it again. I should do the same with under here, but we'll do that in a second or three. Okay, let's just. Right, 
Right, so I've quickly done that arm there as well. Let's have a look at that. Here we go. Right, again, not bad, not bad, but we're not finished, guys. We are not finished. I'm going to do exactly the same again, but with his feet. Okay, right, so I am taking a good while on this. I'm not going to rush this one at all. So I want to quickly look at his horns, okay? Now I'm going to grab a purple, a purple, purple. I think that purple is okay. It looks a bit dark, but I'm going to use it. Now, if you look at the picture carefully on the screen, I've got it on my phone here. There's some lines as well on this particular uh, picture, on his horns. There's a line almost indicating that there's a shadow slightly under his horn. I'm not going to worry about that just yet too much because it, that's an interesting line there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in the horn, the purple of the horn like this. Okay, I'm just going to fill it in flat first. Just a little bit darker than I wanted. But I'm going to start it high there and I'm going to see if I can blend it in with a pencil. We haven't got any purple pencils. Why no purple pencils? Purple pencils. Doo -doo. We probably do, but I don't know what I've done with them. Okay, yeah, we need some purple pencils, purple pencils, purple pencils. This is going to have to do this kind of brownish, I think. Right, right, so I need to soften this edge here on the top bit here. Here, I'm going to try and soften it a little bit. Like this. It just, it's nice, but I just think it needs to have a slight glow to it. And I want to put another line here, and here, and here. That's not dark enough. Here, and here, and here, like that. Right, so we, we'll do the same thing on that horn, the other horn in a minute. But because that horn has got the purple and the blue, I'm going to do what I did on the uh, outside of his body with the outside of his horn here, like this but I'm going to follow those contour lines that I've already put in. Everything has to flow together, otherwise it won't look as if it's marrying up. Okay, those lines have to marry up together. You see what I mean? They're all flowing together. Okay, that is following right as if it's one line, continuous line. Right, right, here we go. Just putting a few lines here and there to give it that. I'm quite pleased with that, actually. It's coming out a lot better than I thought it was. Okay, okay. I, knew, I did have a white pen, pen last time. This pen here is a paint marker. I tried to use it a while ago, but it wasn't that successful. Let's see if it works on a bit of scrap paper. Not really. No, a little bit, a little bit. Sometimes, I don't know, a little rough edge won't hurt a little bit. It might give a, add a bit of character to it. I'm trying to put a bit of a dark, a light line under here. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's, it's uh, not going to win any prizes, but it's not too bad. Right, let me just use my tissue to swipe away some of this excess fragments from that white marker I was using. And I'm going to... Continue that horn on this side, so we're gonna go into fast motion right now. So let's quickly look at the eyes. The eyes have like a, a inner gray color to it as well. And of course, I need to grab a gray pencil. Yeah, and I'm going to try my best. It's actually three colors on the eyes. There's the gray, a white piece, and then another gray piece, then his red eyes. I'm not going to make that too complicated. I'm just going to keep it fairly simple and do what I did with the edge of his body, which is I'm going to go around the edge of it with a dark gray. Uh, we are still using our skills and our imagination to slightly change bits of it as well. Partly because sometimes the limitation of the materials that you're using forces you to have to do that. So it's just a sad reality of sometimes you haven't got all the amazing recruitments and tools that you would like to have 
to actually color it in the way you'd like to color it in or give it that smooth edge. For example, you, I'm using this yellow to blend this gray in, <laughs> right? Because we haven't got anything else, right? So I'm using this yellow to blend that in. Right, so let's look at those eyes. They're actually red. So I suppose that's keeping with the monster idea. So let's put those red eyes there and red eyes there. And in the right, in the center is a black dot. Right there, right there. And the redness does have a slight light bit on top. I'm gonna to use my pen here to try and indicate that. Okay, can you slightly see that? No, it's probably too far on the telly. But this, I have to squeeze and prod it to get the color to come out. Right, let's have a look at that. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, some, some harsh edges on here I can see over here. It's not blending in as nicely as I should have, because obviously I'm going at superhuman speed. So I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit here. See, now what I'm saying is that sometimes when you do something, it's good to hold it at arm's length and look at it because we've got a monitor here in the studio of everything I can see. I can use that in order to sort of see what I'm doing from a distance. So if you're always wondering, why can you keep looking over there, right? I'm looking over there because I can see the monitor and it allows me to do that in effect, hold the picture at a distance and be able to see what I've done right and what I've done wrong, right? So let me just put some dark lines under these eyes here just to give it a bit of body. As I said earlier on, I am interested in doing some beautiful pictures and that's why I'm really taking my time with these ones that we've been doing recently as well. And I, and I can see the benefit of it as well. It's nice to rush things sometimes, because sometimes you have to, but if you can take your time and get a really good job done, that is even more satisfying to look back and realize, you know what, it was worth it. Taking your time, getting a nice image out there as well. And that's what it's all about. Sometimes, I know it doesn't always work out that way, I know, but if you can get away with it, why not? I'm just using this red and this orange to just give these eyes a bit of a lift, okay? Just a bit of a lift, just making them look a little bit more three-dimensional. Again, because we don't have the exact resources that this person, now this picture of that we're copying, the, the, the um, monster, that was not drawn traditionally on a piece of paper. You can see straight away, it was drawn on a computer. And on a computer, you can eat, you'll have endless variety of colors, blends, shapes, and stuff of that nature. So he can get away with making all that blue there as well. Right, the last thing I'm going to touch up is his teeth. Right, let's grab our blue and I'm going to do his poof like this. Start like that, and this, and this. Okay. Now, as I'm doing it, I just realized there, his mouth is very, ever so slightly open. So I'm gonna put a thicker line there to indicate that his mouth is very slightly open. Maybe he's about to gobble someone up. It better not be me, that's all I'm telling you. Right, let's put some, as I did before, but I'm gonna emphasize it now. A bit of a shadow under his teeth, just to give that teeth a bit of a lift. That round circle on his chair, on his belly there, I'm gonna get rid of it, there's no point. Because we haven't continued that color all the way up. So there's no point in doing that. I'm just gonna get rid of it. And I'm gonna use this rubber to just blend that blue into the white. So his belly is white now, and not blue like the original that we're copying from, because otherwise it's gonna be my whole arsenal of pencils are gonna run out because we're gonna have to use all the blue just for his belly. Okay, not bad. Okay, also his pads on his hands, let's just fill those in a little bit, but I'm not gonna make it flat, I'm gonna make it a little bit more interesting, like this. Okay, if you can get away with just making something just flat colors, like you see I'm doing with his hand, his pads here. Okay, I'm making it look a bit more interesting. I'll do the same with this one over here. I'm giving it a sharp 
dark edge inside of it and then I'm going to blend that into the rest of his arm. I'm going to do the same thing with his smaller pads on his fingers. There like that. And maybe grab a blue and continue to give it an idea that maybe it's casting a bit of a shadow. I don't know why. <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. But it doesn't matter. It might look interesting to the eye. Right, so we're going to draw this one to a close, guys. We've done a lot of work on that one as well. Yes, I know I need to finish off these twiddly diddly these there's as well. We also need to do these round things on his head like that. Whatever they are. Sensors, indicators. I don't know what they are. Should have put those there like that. Just put a slight colour on it. Just give it a bit more interesting colour. Here should have been a bit different as well. Should have been, it's got a round circle on it, so I'm going to do it like that. Okay, my pencil's running out. I don't know where it's running to, but it better come back. Right, so there you go. So, not bad, we could have done the edge of his fingers. Let's have one last look at it. Right, next bed, next bed, next bed. Again, because we didn't have as much blue, we couldn't fill all that area in as well. If it was smaller, I would have been able to do it, but I'm still happy with it as well. Or if it was black, I could have made the edge black and then brought everything in so that the, the middle was blue again. Uh, but I didn't do that, so not to worry. I'm I am gonna grab uh, the, 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 a black and just gonna put a little few lines here and there to indicate his mouth is open again. I just feel it needs a little bit. And while I've, while it's still a bit wet, whoops, I nearly threw that next door. Right, I'm just gonna use this blue to just darken it a little bit as well. And just blend that smile. Oh, that's nice. Hey, look it, hey, look it, hey, look it. Right, like that, hey. Like that, man. There you go. Okay, right guys, so we're gonna draw this one to a close. Again, my family, my friends, if you want to join me in the studio, all you need to do is send me an email on the following email address, info at ikra.tv, or if you want to send your artwork, because it's going to be a lot quicker and simpler to send it via Instagram. Go to our Instagram page and just DM me there. Take your phone out, make sure it's in a well-lit place. Kitching, bam, boom, boom, send to me. Easy as that, you don't have to worry about emails and attaching a picture and taking a photo and doing all that stuff. You can go on your phone, look at uh, what you've drawn, take a photo, it's already in your phone, send it straight away, DM me on Instagram and it will be there and we will picture on the show as well. If you wanna go to our website, you can see the address below as well, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm happy with this, I think we did a good job. Again, take your time, don't rush with it, okay? It's just no point, right, you guys? See you soon, be creative, salam alaikum. that show today oh can we have some more no no oh never mind guys if you do want more and you want to see more of our work make sure you go to our website which is as follows and of course if you've got any inf information any pictures any things that you'd like to share with us that's the email address and of course once again our instagram page any ideas of what beanie looks like right if you send it to us we're gonna put it on our instagram page and that's the address just in case i haven't said it already I'll be dying to hear from you guys. Take care, speak to you soon. Asalaamu Alaikum.